What's up everyone, it's Teen here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at the best Bold.new alternatives that are completely free. So if you're looking for something similar to Bold, I will go through in a very quick manner um, through every basically alternative and then I will also show you uh, yeah, what you can do with these alternatives. So the first alternative on this list is Lovable AI. Now in terms of Lovable AI, I think this is the second best alternative to Bold.new. It definitely has some, uh, you know, pros and cons, but as you can see, you can attach, you know, any image, you can um, start like a social media feed, like a e-commerce product page. Let's just create here and let me show you what I mean by this. So as you can see, this is the first uh, bold.new alternative. Uh, it looks very similar to bold.new. It, it has some similar features. Um, you can also, you also have super base here. You can edit the code as well here on the GitHub. As you can see here, it basically writes the code. Uh, it tells you what it will, what it will do just like bold.new. And then as you can see right here, it's, it's building the code, right? And uh, similar with bold.new, it also has a uh, way to publish this on, you know, or deploy it on your website or your, or your domain. You can also select a part of your code and change a part of your code as well, which is really awesome. So as you can see, let's see what it will come up with here. Okay. So it's still coding right here, as you can see. And as you can see, we have, we're saving changes here and it's currently going in the preview mode here. And as you can see, this is how it looks like, right? So in terms of the design, I think bold.new has a better design, uh, but this one is uh, definitely a great alternative. So again, lovable.dev. The second alternative is uh, by Codium Windsurf. Now you probably know about Windsurf. Uh, I even did a tutorial on Windsurf. You can check out on our channel. Uh, but Windsurf is a downloadable editor, so you need to actually download it. Now, in terms of the pricing, um, it's completely free. However, you obviously, if you want to go with Pro, you can always go with a Pro. Um, in terms of Windsurf, let me just open it here. So this is how Windsurf looks like. So this is Windsurf right here. Um, overall, I think Windsurf is better for those of you who uh, know how to program. So it's much better for those of you who know how to program already and edit code. But for example, if I want, I can create a create a basic calculator in HTML CSS with premium design. So you can again go with the prompt and then, you know, Windsurf will create this for you. Um, but as you can see, you know, right here, it's creating a project directory, you know, stuff like that. This is more so if you want to run it locally. So you're running this locally, but if you want, you can always go online, you know, to bold.new. Um, honestly, I like Windsurf. I think it's great. Uh, but I really like bold.new just because it's online. I don't have to actually install anything. And yeah, it's much, much better in my opinion. So as you can see here, you can also, you know, go and say, can you open it for me? Like, can you open the file for me? <clears throat> and then as you can see, it basically goes into how to open it, you know, stuff like that. So as you can see, this is Windsurf. Windsurf is great. Again, uh, I have a full tutorial on that, but yeah, you can kind of check out, um, you know, that tutorial on our channel. Uh, the third one is Cursor. Now Cursor, for those of you who know Windsurf, you know Cursor. I will not go too into detail into Cursor. Cursor is similar to Windsurf. So if you're looking for something similar to Windsurf, again, it's completely free. You also have pro two week trial. You have 2000 completions, 50 slow premium requests. So again, Windsurf is really, really great um, for free, but I would say Cursor is, um, Cursor, sorry, not Windsurf. <laughs> uh, and Cursor is definitely a better alternative, um, you know, for something that is more so like, a, you know, going all in on the coding side, because for Cursor, again, I would say this is better for those experienced programmers. So that's for the cursor. The second one is Vertzel, uh, V-O.dev. 
this is by Vertzel, so uh, this one is by far the best one, right? If I wanna choose one best tool on this list, I would say Vertzel is that one tool. So we covered Lovable, we covered Windsurf, we covered Cursor, and then Ver Vertzel is definitely the best one. You can um, upgrade and use Figma integrations. You can actually integrate with Figma. You can also add images, which is really awesome. And it also gives you the best possible design for apps ever. So for example, here are just some of the apps that I did. Let me just go here. And let me show you right here. I think I have some of the apps. So let me show you this one right here. So these are two of the apps that I've built on uh, Vertzel, which are really, really great apps. And as you can see here also, and uh, yeah, these are very, very um, great design apps. Now, obviously the design can be even better, uh, but I, I would say Vertzel is definitely the best one out of this. So for example, if you want, you can type in how to build or create me a premium looking calculator. And then as you can see, Vertzel will actually go and uh, you know start by creating a premium looking calculator here, as you can see. And then here's the, the, the prompt, here's the code, and this is the preview where you will be able to preview. Also, you would be able to deploy it on a custom domain just like on bold.new, which is really awesome as well. So as you can see, it's currently going through the code, right? So you have everything right here. As you can see, very, um, I think it's very fast as well, um, judging by, you know, other, uh, other alternatives out there. And then as you can see, it's going in the preview currently, I think. Yeah. So you can see this is, this is basically the calculator, right? So you can see, uh, how it works, right? So you can also deploy it here and add this project to a, a library. You can also download this if you want. It's completely free, right? So again, another great, um, another great coder, AI coder. So uh, that's the this one. Now the the last one is called uh, Search Book. I like to call it Search Book. It's called SRC Book. Um, so again, very similar uh, to uh, lovable.dev. You can build a to-do app, for example, right here. You can add an image. And if you click here, this will go right into the coding. Obviously here, uh, they're just asking me what is my role. Now for this one, the chat is on the right side. And then um, obviously here is the code. Oops, let me just stay here. So here's the... Uh, the code is actually not yet starting, it's writing code. So this can take a while, as you can see. And then in the preview, you would be able to go and, and see the preview, right? So let's see what it will come up with. Here we can also download if we want. As you can see, here's the code. And then I think we can go into preview. Yep, yeah, so this is how it looks like. Very good, so we can add a task one right here. And as you can see, we have a task and that is the to-do list basically sorted out so and you can see how it looks like on the phone and everything like that so uh, these are all the uh, alternatives for bold.new again i would say uh, vertzel is the best one and i would say also lovable.dev is great one as well so if you're looking for like um, mini sas or mi micro sas or to create micro sas this is the best alternatives for bold.new. If you want to know more about bold.new or how to deploy apps on WordPress from bold.new or any bold.new tutorial like connecting a domain, you can check out our videos on our channel uh, because we actually have uh, quite a lot of videos on AI. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.